Good morning, Minecraft, and welcome to my weekly show where we talk about all things Minecraft, spotlight some cool YouTubers, and just have a little fun along the way. But uh, before I start today's show, I wanted to announce that the Good Morning Minecraft show is now an official YouTube show. And as far as I know, all that means is that you can actually subscribe to the show itself. So click that subscribe button. And for today, our special guest is none other than it's Trebs. Mr. Trebs. Mr. Trebs. Hello, Trebs. How you doing? Hey, man. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Great. So you've just started a YouTube channel. Indeed. And what do you get, what are you doing around your channel? What's going on? Well, as I've just started, I'm testing out a few things to see which people like the most. I've got a uh, single player let's play, some catch up from what I've been doing on Jeremiah and what everyone else has been doing. Cool. M Mindsy, PvP footage, all sorts going on there, all sorts. Great. So, uh, yeah, you're you're uh, pretty popular around Geomine. I've seen a lot of your work. But uh, you mentioned Mind Z. Uh, that's something that I'm not familiar with. So, why don't you tell me about Mind Z? Well, Mind is a server-based plugin mod type thing, which is um, okay. highly influenced by the Armor 2 mod Daisy. And right. basically, all it is, it's you survive for as long as you can, and <laughs> you just get up to whatever you like, traveling from all the different settlements, and just a whole heap of fun. Yeah, it sounds Great. a lot like Hunger Games. Uh, yeah, they do have their own last month standing game mode of it, which is highly the same as Hunger Games. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, uh, cool. when, when, if I were to start the game, what would I expect right when I get in there? When I first spawned into the game? Off, yeah. Start off if you're playing original Mind Sea, you'll start off in the south of the map and. That's where you get all your basic resources, such as food and that. And then, as you progress as a character, you slowly head up north, where you get all your iron armor and such stuff like that. And the PvP happens. So then, the, is the map split into north and south? Uh -oh. Um, it's not split. You're it's a just zombie. Has... Oh, I can hear a zombie too. But uh, yeah, that's right it. <laughs> Is since we're talking about uh, Mind Z, why don't we have a little zombie f friend visit us? <laughs> oh, well, maybe them to haunt me through the, all their mums and dads and their brothers and sisters I've been killing recently. <laughs> okay, so what what is the the, the idea behind Mind Z? To survive as long as you can, and uh, well, I mean, as many yeah, that as sounds like as you can. that sounds like Minecraft. You know, you survive, but there's got to be something more to Mind Z than just sur survival. Uh, you team up with people, you take on other plans that are teamed up. It, it is, it's just Minecraft, but you're in adventure mode basically, and you have to, you have to hide away from the zombies. The zombies are like four times as fast and absolutely lethal. Um, you have first, you have to be drinking. Talking about drinks, have a little sip. There you go. You can have a drink too. <laughs> um, All right. Thanks. Food can kill you. Thirst can kill you. It's Minecraft, but on it's just a whole new scale. It's a lot more tricky. Well, what I was trying to get at was that it's a zombie apocalypse. Oh yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> that, that that bit isn't important. <laughs> that's that's not the important part of the game. It's it's that's, about that's just that's just a small detail. No, no. <laughs> the zombies are nothing. So how do you get? All your gear, and uh, to you, go out and fight the zombies. Uh, you, as you're traveling on your mind's adventures, you'll come across little settlements and towns and okay. castles and all sorts, and you can just get them from chests that respawn regularly in them places. Well, can't I just dig a hole and hide? I uh, mean... You can't. No, you can't break blocks or place blocks. You just oh, that's. That's a letdown. <laughs> How is it Minecraft without being able to blocks? <laughs> yeah. it, really so different from normal Minecraft, but it, it's good. If you ever feeling, oh, I can't be asked to carry on with that 
project, then it's just cool to jump on for a little while and see what you can get up to. Okay. Oh, food. I like food. Food. <laughs> food actually, I've good. actually got another gift for you, Wolf. Um, hope you accept my rose. No! Perish it forever. <laughs> put, put, put one of these in your pocket as well. Ugh. Cactus. Might hurt, though. <laughs> so what else is going on around your channel? Um, you said you had a, a single-player Let's Play? Uh, is that a Minecraft Let's Play? It, yeah, it's just a, a bog-standard Minecraft Let's Play, and but I, I try to cut out the boring parts and I'll show you the interesting stuff. So at the moment, I'm building a mob farm, which a tiny mob farm, which is quite interesting. I've, I've, I've been trying to progress through the basic stage as fast as possible but yeah then this video is try i tried to get one of those uh, twice a week so keep you guys interactive cool so um i've got a question that's a little bit more personal Go for uh, it. and my viewers obviously can tell what's going on but uh i'm not sure you noticed what does it feel like to have british internet dude i mean it's <laughs> your voice has been really cutting up a lot so <laughs> but I'm still gonna put out the video even though it's pretty bad so what's it like on a personal level to have the internet that you guys do I don't have British internet I have farmer internet <laughs> my internet's on, it's on a whole new scale you know I've got a, I've got a cardboard route here it's, it's just molding away over time it's terrible might as well just be a 60 56k modem whatever you call them terrible <laughs> Cans and strings, wow. Honestly, yeah. Uh, dial up over it. It's not really dial up, but. Oh man, I could not imagine terrible. playing uh, Minecraft on dial up. Oh boy. Yeah, uh, most of the time on GMine, I have roughly a 1500 ping. So yeah, it, it can make fighting zombies a bit more tricky, but. <laughs> I'm way over here in the middle of the. the... America continent, and I have a better ping than that. Oh, um, it's terrible. <laughs> it's terrible. Wow. <laughs> Even worse when you're playing mining and some bandit tries to kill you and you can't see him because he's jumping all over the place. <laughs> it's crazy. I don't uh, know how, I do not know how you put up with it. When you've got love for the game, you just do whatever you want to do. You just do it. Okay. Makes me more pro. Um, Takes a pro to tackle zombies with lag. <laughs> You're the the epic lag slayer. Yeah. Awesome. I've always got an excuse if I lose as well, so <laughs> comes in handy sometimes. When I'm playing Cluster Chunk and I uh, make a stupid mistake, I fall out of the world. I just blame it on the lag or the wind <laughs> or whatever. So. <laughs> the wind. Yeah, I'll just say the wind blew over my board router, so yeah, it works out fine. <laughs> great <laughs> <laughs> awesome yeah um i also put up a video from in mine i'm sure you guys have heard of mr pixel tech i'm pretty sure he was in one of your recent videos no i've never heard of the guy before i i don't ever hang out with him and we don't play pvp together and and no nope, never heard of the guy <laughs> uh, he, he's yeah a right loser. yeah loser he's a loser <laughs> oh well, god I, <laughs> oh, I hope Mr. Pixel Tech is not watching this video right now. Cause... He's already pretty mad with me. I may <laughs> have placed a small clank, uh, prank along his base. So... Oh! I yeah. heard of... Yeah. Um, actually, you pissed him off more than you pissed me off. I was trying to get to uh, Ryan's iron farm, <laughs> and the, the minecart kept stopping at these really obnoxious scarecrows. Like every scarecrow, the minecart would just stop, cause somebody yeah, came along turn and turned off the. Ugh. That's why I don't use switches on my rail carts. <laughs> you can't turn yeah. them off. So those few scarecrows you saw in the Never Tunnel, they were just the leftovers from the millions I planted all <laughs> over his base. I never actually saw the millions. I saw a bunch in the the minecart track, but. <laughs> 
Oh, yeah. that was nothing. Yeah. I, I was just helping him out, you know. Uh, I don't know if you know, but Sack burnt down his house being Sack. He's a bit of a plonker. Right. So, I'd be scarecrows about to try and scare away the griefers. But... <laughs> That's an awesome <laughs> idea. I love uh, it. It's not me who's just guilty. I did have help from Rooster HD, so oh, I'm, I'm not the only one to blame. But <laughs> yeah, they're pretty. They're pretty scary as well. You know, I look at them and I, but whoa, hairs stick up. Then I know super scary those scarecrows. Yeah, and you weren't the only one that that pranked uh, Pixel on that day. He'd been away for almost a week, and he came back, and there were like three or four different people had pranked him. Yeah, so it wasn't I just... him. I'd put in the chat that I'd pranked him, and uh, Doc Redstone actually went really mad because he was just on his way over to prank him, so... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Pixel was really upset because he had three or four different guys pranking him at once. <laughs> he's, just, he's an easy target, bless him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you don't mind the minecart trip, which is yeah. like 5,000 blocks, it's crazy. Uh, I don't know if you noticed, but my new cool skin. Yeah, Pretty. let's let's discuss the skin. Um, you used to look like who? What was that guy's name? Uh, Bin Laden. I had a skin <laughs> of Bin Laden. <laughs> Bin Laden skin, uh, right? Then when I started making videos, I decided to head towards a more civilized skin and went for a Steve in a suit. And then Steve in one a of suit. my love subscribers. Uh, I think yeah, one of my lovely subscribers made me this, and I think I've it. got recordings of of all three skins. Yeah, so far. I, I don't you change my skin, but yeah, it's nice to have a change. Definitely, I've geez, my skin I've had for a year, over a year now. I think it was July of 2011 that I've got, I picked yeah. out this skin, and I haven't changed it since. Yeah, but, it's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. So you've got. What is this, a robot in a suit, or a sci-fi... I don't know if you... Yeah, it's, it looks I like you've got a really visor is. and a helmet. I've, he looks a bit like Dark Punk, I reckon. Okay. don't know if you're familiar with Punk, but... Um, not really. Maybe that was... Well, yeah, he looks like Dark in a suit, which is pretty interesting. Well, that's cool. Uh, did you want to get a, give a shout-out to the subscriber who made your skin for you? Oh yeah, a big shout out to Bud Gillett who made the skin. He's he's been helping me out a lot really. So cool. Really active subscriber. I've got some really cool guys on you follow my channel. Really really appreciate all the support I get from them. Oh yeah. Feel free to shout out anybody you want in my show. Big shout out to everyone who subscribed or anyone who watched my videos in fact. Awesome. Yeah, and I wanted to say thanks to all my subscribers that have stuck with me over the last year. Love you all, guys. Keep putting those comments out. Yeah, yeah here's the rose. Rose for everybody. And bread. Actually, oh. I can have some raw flesh on two ports. For <laughs> there we go. All yeah. right. And a, and a wooden pickaxe. Yeah, they're really expensive nowadays. <laughs> Especially the enchanted ones. Yeah, you know. <laughs> okay, and uh, I have no idea what time it is because we're underground, so... Yeah. Um, we'll call it midday. Midday sounds good. Midday, yeah, great. Midday. Um, So thanks for watching, guys, and we'll catch you in the next episode. And be uh, sure thanks to... You. Thank you very much for having me here. It's been a pleasure. Nice day out here. I hope you enjoyed your, enjoyed your meal. <laughs> well, we've actually been at your place. This, for some reason, my place wasn't letting you in, so we had to come to your place. Yeah, he wasn't working. Don't know what was going on with your place, but yeah. <laughs> All right. So thanks a lot. See you guys later. Ciao. Okay, so I'll give you a tour of my base now. Um, yeah, we've got some fine dining area up here, which is just temporary. So we'll head down to the more, the more, uh, cooler stuff. It's still a work in progress. But you dropped some zombie cool flesh. Stuff. 
all good. Here is where I'm going to be having my living quarters. I think this is where the zombie is actually. Need to light that up or some. This is going to be your living quarters? Yeah. Okay. You head down this stairway through this glass. You see the project me and E Home were working on. And oh, creeper there. I'm going to actually put a village down there, which oh, is. Okay. That's going to be pretty cool. Uh, here is a subsection of the main base. Alrighty. And here, here I'm going to have my animal farms in the future. But oh. But what is around this big it. room? This is going to be my sheep farm once I get it finished. Oh. And there's actually four layers of light, so it's taking quite a while. <laughs> um, have wow. you considered putting in, say, small glass windows? Otherwise known as skylights or pot lights or something. Yeah, that's probably what would happen, yeah. And just kind of put it underneath the leaves. Yeah. So that you have the cool. leaves on top of the glass shining through. I think that would look yeah. cool. Here I have my farm, which was a zoom design, and I just flip this lever. And let the magic run. I'm pretty sure it was ready for harvest. Yay! And there's your gift from me, Daywolf. Another gift. Awesome. Another gift. Full of gifts. Yeah, I gotta start that's all of it. repaying everybody that's gifting me on the server. <laughs> it was just um. World famous Steden Hawkins switcheroo. Yeah, I, I tried to say Stephen Hawkins in the dual com I do with Zildjian and it came out a bit dodgy, so... <laughs> <laughs> Last time I was down here, you had a netherwort farm that you had uh, just I, I... almost finished, <laughs> and then the server crashed and had to do a backup and you lost the whole thing. So, did you ever get that fixed? I see some nether rack over here. <laughs> Here it is, and it's a bit bigger. I haven't actually planted it. Okay. But uh, basically, I just push it down there, and it pushes it out. It's another design by Zuma. I don't suppose you need any never walk, do you? No. I've been yeah. hit, I've been hitting up the the central main farm quite a bit. Oh, okay. Since yeah, it's on my is... way to it's on the way to my base, then I don't mind, you know, grabbing it. Yeah. Like what you did with you have the to walls. Go past it on the... Yeah, true. I don't know if you can see, but I've got some cool lighting effects in the ceiling as well. Yeah, it looks like yeah. uh, the office building where I work. <laughs> Is that a good thing? Reminds Reminding me of work. Me of your work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, here is my broken cane farm. It's still broken. Uh, I hate rebuilding things, but. Basically, yeah. what I did was I dirt and put a torch next to the ice, and it melted and <laughs> drowned all the redstone out. <laughs> hmm, wonder where that's happened before. <laughs> oh, it's annoying. Yeah, it, well, you know what? It was my sugar cane that I did that with. My sugar cane farm, my huge, massive sugar cane farm that <laughs> I put down pumpkins or jack o' lanterns, and it melted all my ice. Okay, this Flooded is a the place. State of that. This is state of the art cocoa bean farm, right? Can't see any redstone, can you? No signs of redstone. Absolutely. You know what? There is none, you just punch them. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, fu future, future proof against any uh, further updates. Yeah. Updates will not break this farm. Oh no, oh no, this is, this is here forever, this one. Yeah, but here, here's my big question: Is it backwards compatible? Oh, yep, yeah, yeah. You just break it down and rebuild it in another place. Well, backwards compatible means it works in an older version. If you had a mod that had to be set, could be. <laughs> yeah, that's a that's a popular term in the computing business. Is it backwards compatible? Well, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm a bit oh. of a... And here is another subsection, and this one will be up with another subsection from the Neverwalk farm, which you saw. Right. Start of me doing. 
Uh, that's about all I've got here at the moment. So let's talk about your been... your nether portal. Oh, my nether portal. How can I forget that nether portal? I don't know. Oh, um, in sack, we're fooling around. I tried to trap him in my base. <laughs> but it didn't work. But there is, this one here is usually there, uh, so. Yeah, come out, and first thing is, it looks like you've fallen into lava. Yeah, the first the first time I came here when you had this floor <laughs> on, I had uh, Optifine's join textures, so yeah. the glass, yeah. I couldn't see the glass at all. It was just one big, solid, clear, so I was freaking out. I was like, uh... Wait a minute, there's nothing but lava here. What do I do? I remember when, uh, I can't remember, I think it might have been Con, but when he came, he stood in the portal and he just held shift because he didn't know he could get across. He right. Thought I was trying to trap him, he just stayed here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was the same way. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's pretty freaky. <laughs> it looks cool when I've got a couple of, uh, the nether zombies, pig zombies here. <laughs> They're flying around. They just sat here chilling on the lava. <laughs> it's, it, I like this lava though, you know, it keeps my base warm in the winter. I don't get chilly here. You're in a jungle, it never goes winter. Jeez. It's a rainforest. Oh, it's a rainforest, alright. Yeah, it's, this one is this one's special. It rains a lot here. On GMI, it rains a lot. Oh, yeah, it does. Fishing lake. That's cool. Fishing lake, indeed. Nice. And the fish in here, sharks, everything. Why are you letting sharks into your pool? They're friendly sharks, you know. Oh, they're the small ones, okay. Yeah. I think that would be something they should add into Minecraft as a water hostile mob. That'd be pretty cool. All I can say is mo creatures. That's oh, all yeah. I have to say. Except from ogres when they can bash you on the face and they scare the hell out of me. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't you been playing some Tekkit too? Uh, I played a bit of Tekkit, yeah. It's pretty interesting. We should have brought that up during the show. Yeah. But I'd already done a, a Tekkit episode, so. Yeah, I saw that. Alright. Yeah, I think we'll, uh, we'll stop it here. Alright. I hope you enjoyed. It looks like I've got to go and do yard work. I'm Sounds okay fun. for yard work. I guess I'll be just derping around on the server then.